Hello students! Welcome to this lesson of Art and Design. Today, we will look at another aspect of color theory called tertiary colors. In this lesson, you will discover the different tertiary colors and also how they are created. In grade 7, you have been exposed to the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. These colors are considered to be the foundation colors as they are used to create all other colors. When you mix an equal amount of any two primary colors, a secondary color is formed. For example, when you mix yellow and red, you get orange, blue and yellow, you get green, and red with blue, you get violet. If you put these colors in a color wheel, the secondary colors are placed in between the primary colors. Now that you have some background knowledge, let's take things to the next level. We already know that when you mix two primary colors, you get a secondary color, but there are other colors that can be made through color mixing. When you mix an equal amount of primary color with an adjacent secondary color that is next to the color wheel, a tertiary color, also known as intermediate color, is obtained. For example, if you add equal amount of red with an equal amount of violet, you will obtain the red-violet color. Here are the colors obtained when mixing equal amount of a primary color with a secondary color. Red mixed with violet, you get red-violet. Red with orange, you get red orange. Blue with violet, you get blue violet. Blue with green, you get blue green. Yellow with orange, you get yellow orange. And lastly, yellow mixed with green, you get yellow green. An easy way to remember these names is to place the primary color name before the secondary color. For example, primary color yellow with the secondary color green is called yellow-green. Join me now for a demonstration on a tertiary color wheel.
In this color wheel, there are 12 colors. It is a regular color wheel comprising of three primary colors, three secondary colors and six tertiary colors. If we divide the color wheel in half, we have all the warm colors on one side and all the cool colors on the other side. Warm colors such as red, orange and yellow green evoke warmth because they remind us of things like the sun or fire. Cool colors such as blue, green and red violet are associated with a cool feeling like water, grass or snow. Tertiary colors can be seen in different types of compositions. An example here is the work of Pat Kotsiansky depicting a still life study of kiwi fruits. This beautiful landscape of Leonid Afremov has been painted using tertiary colors. Another example is the dragonfly of Kimberly Baxter. Tertiary colors can sometimes play the largest role in an artwork with only a limited need for vibrancy. An example is this mandala design of tertiary hues. Tertiary colors can also be interpreted in abstract textiles just like this work of Stefanie Schuster. Peter Piat has wisely used tertiary colors in his artwork Zebra to create balance and establish a color harmony. Artists interpret tertiary colors on three-dimensional objects also, as can be seen on the glasses of Elisabeth Lyon. Observe how ceramic artists have mastered tertiary colors for the glazing of these beautiful Art Nouveau ceramic vases. Interior designers have long believed that colors can radically affect moods, feelings and emotions. Tertiary colors can be used to enhance the interior decoration of a room. Here, a combination of red-orange, blue-violet and yellow-green colors can be seen. When it comes to hair colors, different beautiful shades and awesome hues are obtained with tertiary colors. Nail art is a creative way to paint, decorate, enhance and embellish the nails using any hues. Colors used here are the tertiary red-orange, blue-green and red-violet. Artist Marc Chagall beautifully coated, I quote, all colors are the friends of their neighbors and the lovers of their opposites, end quote. Dear students, start creating different color schemes and use them in your artworks for more exciting effects. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.